Lasha from Royal Pushback Aftermath. And this is my mother, Geraldine, and she has a story and she was telling it to me and it was a Kodak moment that I missed. The Lily Tomlin. Oh yes, it was on Laughing uh, back in the 70s. And uh, it was, um, you, you know, Lasha, who the person is. Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin. And she was, uh, pretended that she was an operator on a switchboard. And she, <laughs> she would always, I would imitate her, and it would be like, <laughs> is this the party who I'm connected to? Is it? Is this you? Huh? Huh? Who's there, please? Who's there? Is this the party? Is this the party? It, it was quite hilarious. And she had her hair curled under. Oh, yes. Like uh, Eugene on Carol Burnett. Oh, yes. Hey, Mother, I tried to uh, message Thomas Markle Jr. And he has this YouTube channel called uh, Thomas Markle Jr. and Friends. Um, and he's Meghan Markle's brother. <laughs> Meghan Markle's not a nice person. <laughs> Lily Tomlin's hilarious. I re <laughs> <laughs> Is this the funny to who I am connected to? Who am I speaking to? <laughs> and control myself. No, that's hilarious. Well, I can go into character. I know, and I, I'm watching you, and I've got to tell you, when I first started this channel, um, it was March the 23rd of 2023, I uploaded my first video, and there were 89 people, and everybody was excited because it was a new channel, and then I just bombed. I started reading the Testaments, by Margaret Atwood, and I sounded like I was two years old. <laughs> and I had to read the page three times. Oh, it was bad. And um, it's good for you. No, I know, but that's because of the wheelchair and everything. And I was thinking today on the channels on Lasha Rajenko, LNL Soul Sisters is just sitting there all lonely. That's why I'm trying to get the SIM card. What is that? What am I looking at? Oh, it's a reflection of a, my uh, keys. What are you, nuts? <laughs> <laughs> really? Wait, she says to me, What are you, nuts? No, that's not the way I said it. I said, what are you, nuts? <laughs> But I was, okay, so when I first started these channels, and, the, and there's 174 souls on this channel so far, but these are the folks, I go on and on about it, so I have to stop. I just, I'm blown away because there's a million YouTube channels on this planet, and the fact that these people take time out of their lives for me, blows me away and I feel a responsibility to um there's this guy toxic and he hey. said he sends me really nice messages about um like I should really share what really Sophie. happened yeah I know and my mother went through my mother oh my mother went through this it was and not just me and, and my dog went through this. Sophie Ann went through this. Right. You know, she has arthritis now because we had to walk so much to recover from Michael Corcola's botched surgery in Barrie, Ontario, allegedly. But, but you can tell by, uh, uh, by the dog, by their tail, the way it hangs, that she is, it just hangs down She's calm. naturally. And she's, she needs, it needs, she's very happy. Yeah, she's very happy. Sophie yeah. is a very, very happy dog. She's a very lucky dog. And she is lucky. I found her. My mother paid all of the vet bills, except for two. Uh, and you know what? I don't know how people in the States, 
when they have no coverage. If I had no coverage when I broke my leg, I um, still would have had a broken leg and I'd be maimed. It's the truth. Anyways, uh, Mom, tonight, this was my goal. Hang on one sec. Um, I like to look at you. Me? Like, yeah. So my goal tonight, and I'm doing it because I want to learn. Where's you at? Is uh, Matthew Perry's Friends, no. Lovers, and the Not Big Terrible Thing. And no. uh, the Exorcism so of Annalise Michael with Dr. Goodman. And what does she have? She's got one of those things, you know, that you're not supposed to have. Every time I mention Annalise Michael, the dog goes weird. Yeah, it almost didn't stop it. And there was a gal, oh, I remember her name, it was Sophie. No, was her name Sophie? Hey, she's growling at me, gotcha. Wait a minute. There was a gal. I think it was Michelle. I think it was Michelle. Um, or her name started with an S. And she said that Sophie picks up on things because dogs do pick up vibrations. Oh, you got this. Yeah. Oh, look what she got, everybody. Yeah. Look. Uh-huh. Oh, look. This Couldn't is what, get it away from her. Look though. at look at what she got. Yeah. It's legal in Canada. Yeah, sorry. If, so, sorry if it's offending anyone. Yeah, exactly. Not everybody agrees with that. Yeah. So anyways, I found this... Um, so I am going to read the book, but before I read the Matthew Perry book, I have not read, and my mother, did, have I read this magazine? No. I have not. Huh? No. So it is The Dark Side No One Knew, Inside the Tragic Depths of the Star's Addiction, Manipulation, Physical Outbursts, and a Secret, uh, payment to keep his troubled behavior under wraps. And that's where PR machines come in. And this is why I also include royalty in here. I love the monarch and what they stand for in the history, but I, I, I'll save it for another day. You know what's still going on? Uh, what? The, it, it, the history. I know it's. It's, it's a tradition. It is a tradition, and it, they have carried it, and I think they have carried it very well. Can I say something? Then you'll understand why I say this. Do you remember when Meghan Markle, I told you, used Lilibet for her daughter's name? See, I don't get that. Okay, so remember uh, King George? Yeah. That I remember David who advocated the throne. And Mary. So she it was actually, her father was the quote spare. So when the brother advocated the throne, remember the king's speech? Oh yeah, yeah. And Bertie? Uh -huh. And he had the uh, uh, stutter? Uh -huh. So it's it's been widely uh, spoken about in inner circles of royalty that I don't know who leaks what. I have no idea what's true or false. But apparently, um, the queen blamed the brother for her father dying at 52. Remember the queen mother? Mom? What? Did you drift off? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. That's all right. Hi. <laughs> I'm back. I was like staring out the window, looking out at the beautiful spruce tree and thinking how lovely it looked in the shadow of the light of the night. It's dusk at this particular time. It looks beautiful. Do you know what Toxic said? That you should have a channel of your own on one of my channels. So like set up L&L &L Soul Sisters, I just have to get that SIM card 
and put it in the phone and then you can start uploading videos. Who is the person that wants? Well, he has a, a I, he don't, I don't know his real name. Well, what? what his name? suggestion was that you are funny, talented, hilarious, <laughs> and that you should have your own YouTube channel yourself. Oh, God. I should do my own thing myself. Okay. And the two of us should do something together because <laughs> I have three channels. And he spent. That's he, very isn't good. that sweet? That's very nice. Yeah, and that's a isn't very that good a nice idea. Comment? Yeah. Yeah, and, that's and, very nice. Yeah, and so that's why, like, yeah, I was blown away. You know, I think I think the thing that that uh, my daughter and I have in common, and uh, that that we both teach, knew how to teach, and my daughter was a very good um, uh, worker at. Uh, Jenny Craig, she was a very good trainer, very good manager for Western, of Western Canada. And uh, she was fantastic. And uh, it is funny because I, prior, many years before that, worked for Weight Watchers. And... Uh, but where do you think I got my Well, this is what I want. Uh, well, don't cut me off, please, dear. Let sorry, me. sorry. Since I, I am getting dementia, you must not cut off. Uh, sorry, Mom, sorry. No, you see, and I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, yes, I think I was going to back to You're talking about Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers. Yeah. And lecturing, uh, it, they called it that. And it, but to me, it was it, teaching. And, um, and that, and Lasha had that in her. And my mom and dad both uh, lived in... Um, Oh, help me, Rhonda, help, help me, Rhonda, help me, Rhonda. It's up north and I can't see it. <laughs> and it's above Edmonton. <laughs> it's Jasper. Jasper. Yes. Yeah, that my mom and dad, they were both school teachers. They're, it runs, it, I think it runs. And in families. May I interject? Yes, sure. Well, I, I'm sure that I really have no choice. Well, you're right. So I'm going to interject here about Nana and Papa. Back in those days, for your mother to be a teacher, oh. and Papa was a veterinarian. Yeah, he had already been a teacher. Yeah. And then when he was 30, he decided he was. they were going to go from the West drive down to the east and he went to Guelph University. Yeah. Animal Hospital. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. No, I was I was very proud of my father. Very proud. Of I was too. Yeah. I remember one time being a little kid and coming home after school and and turning it onto uh, Channel 11. Channel 11. Channel 11. It still is still uncles. And my, I was on? so excited. Yeah, I was so excited because my dad was going to be on TV. Really? Yes. I've it, never heard uh, this oh, one. Oh yes, and he got interviewed. No way. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He got interviewed, and oh, I was so proud. Oh, I'm just so proud of my father. He was such a good man. He got. I'll show you. He got me, not me. He got my mother. Let me see. I, I, I know that ring. This ring. Look at that ring. Yeah. Yeah. You know how old, and now how old that, is that? Uh, this, let me tell a story, please, okay. Lasha. This is an Art Deco ring. Okay. And my father bought this for my mother in the 50s uh, in Miami down uh, in the Jewish section. And uh, it, it is ju just beautiful. And my mother gave it to my sister. And of course, at that time, that rather hurt me. And then when I yes. turned 50, then my sister gave it to me. And that's very, very special. Every time I look at this ring, um, it isn't the value ever. It is the sentimental value that is the most important 
always remember. And if you lose that, then it goes off into the world to someplace else, maybe where, where it should have been. Like, I can tell a funny story. I stayed up at my, uh, my friend's place, and um, his son, unfortunately, had been in jail, and he just got out of jail. And I had um, this ring uh, in, in my jewelry box. Um, and uh, I remember this. every day I would, I would look, always be prior to look and see, you know, if, if the ring was there. And I would always look at it and remember my mom and, and Margaret and my dad and how, how he would do such lovely things like this. He would have just brought this to mommy. It just, you know, he gave her gifts all the time, I guess, and he was just a lovely, lovely man. One time he told her to go and look in her closet, um, which at that, it wasn't called that, it was a bureau. And he said, I think there's something in there for you. And he had bought her a mink coat. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to ask you, so you were saying about your ring, you went to go check it and check it, and then one day, it was gone. One, one, no, the first day that this person's, this, where I was staying, his, the son got out of jail the first the night, then the next morning, this ring was gone, and it was on the fellow had taken it to his girlfriend and gave it to her <gasps> as an engagement. <laughs> an yeah. engagement oh my God. ring. <laughs> How did you get that? Because I I just said to her, You have my ring. I tricked her. I didn't well it was so much I tricked her. It's that I pulled the truth out of her. Yes. Would be more uh, appropriate. Exactly. And um, that's terrible. Yeah, but anyways. You've okay. got it. Show everybody one more time and then? And then what? It's story time, Mama. Oh, well, I, you know what? I'm kind of getting very, very cold down here. It is chilling. Yeah. Everybody it, keeps telling me to move the studio upstairs uh -huh. because it's the sound is very pingy. Well, maybe maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and and Toxic recommended that. Yeah, oh, the channel. Mr. Toxic. And, okay. Yeah, yeah, and I told him, "You're not toxic. I'm not slipping under." Britney Spears sang that song, "Toxic." I'm toxic and I'm slipping under. I don't remember. I don't. Know. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. Gonna, you're I'm gonna, gonna go to bed. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Okay. I will walk you up and. Um, okay. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Sit. Bye. 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 Oh, and don't forget, you know, you have to be good to yourself, and you <laughs> have to be good to others, and you have to look at other people and think you would like them to treat you the way you would treat them. There you go. And a friend indeed is friend in need. That's it. That's all I have to say. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'll be right back down, um, and I'll start uh, with Matthew Perry. Aww. And Luke, thank you so much for the encouragement today. I did not forget. Maybe that's why I kept calling Matthew Perry Luke, because it was so weird. And then your name came up, and I'm like, who's Luke? Who's Luke? And then there you were. So, um, And you weren't even a subscriber to the channel yet. I gotta make my sure my mom gets up. Okay, bye, bye.